Hi everyone, Nash Rathbone here. Um, hopefully you'll remember that a few weeks ago I purchased this Gamo MP9 from a local dealer. Um, and then about a week or so later I fitted this uh, AFG that I purchased uh, from one of the Chinese stores, namely Tiny Deal, cost me £1.50. Uh, makes the shooting experience a little bit more uh, comfortable because of its ergonomic design. Uh, today I purchased some new consumables for it. With the new AFG fitted, the gun now weighs in at exactly three pounds. So I thought to myself, that, uh, if I'm going to be carrying this or using it for a, a period of time, which I do, um, to make it easy to carry, I need a sling. So I had a quick look around my favorite Chinese online store, Gearbest, and came up with this, a little single point sling. Uh, it cost me all of about £2.68, I believe. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, got an elasticated shock absorber at the end here. Um, here's the way you attach it to the gun with this here. So let's take a slightly closer look at this uh, sling, shall we, guys? Um, we have this uh, nice little alloy clip at the end here. Oops, if I can control it, which I can't, there we go. And you can see how it works and how it holds onto the gun. It's quite easy, quite good. And we have this section of uh, elasticated uh, strip just here, which is, you know, helps to take the bounce out of the weapon a little bit. It takes the shock off your shoulder if you, uh, you know, if it moves about. We've got two little plastic um, buckles just here. And we have an, uh, a bit of adjustability to the, to the uh, um, sling as well. So if it's, uh, you know, when you present the weapon forward, if it's not long enough, you can simply adjust this, and it will be. Um, how wide is this uh, material here? Bring in the tape measure. You're looking at an inch and a half, inch and a half wide. You can use it on uh, just about any gun with a, uh, a mounting point on it. Here, you can just about see my Airsoft G36C. Um, it does actually have a uh, sling mounting point just here. And the, um, the sling goes on thusly. And as you can see, it can actually take the full weapon, the full weight of the gun. Here is another favourite of mine, the Nerf Rapid Strike Carbine. Um, again, we have um, some uh, sling mounting points here. You also have one at the front as well, if you want to mount a proper sling. But um, the uh, sling can be clipped on just there, like so. Once again, it makes a uh, handling the weapon a little bit more easier. You've got the uh, spring-loaded bit here, the uh, elasticated bit, just taking a little bit of the uh, shock out of the weapon for you. The small but heavy MP9 has a sling mounting point just here. Let's bring on the uh, single point sling, and there we go. And again, with the MP9, it allows you to uh, free your hands up for other things. It takes the uh, weight of the weapon for you, so you're not carrying it. So if you want to do something else, you can. Now then, I wonder how many of you noticed my newbie mistake uh, when I first fitted the um, gas cartridge to the gun in my last in my, in my first look at the gun so a quick look at that the uh, cartridges drop in there like so and then we just tighten this up and hopefully it should there it goes a little bit of gas escaping there oh 
Don't do that. Damn. Now then, during that uh, first look at the gun, the review, I mentioned that we would be taking a, a look at the instruction manual later on. Well, unfortunately I didn't. Um, I have done since, and I now know how to correctly mount the uh, cartridge in the gun. Um, this one is all but shot out now. I've emptied it. I think there might still be a little bit of gas in there, but there's not enough to cycle the action in the gun itself. So what we'll do is we'll uh, look at uh, replacing the cylinder with a new one. So what I'll do is I'll very carefully back this off, hopefully. There we go. Have a listen to the gas coming out, guys. There we go, not a lot in there. Now we can release it's the, car the gas cartridge carrier, hopefully, he said. Can we do it? Yep, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the old cylinder from the carrier. There it goes. You see the little hole in the end there, hopefully. So that's completely empty and had it, so that can go in the bin. So it goes in the bin. Right, so we, well, what I've done with the new cylinder, I've put a little drop of light oil on the end there. We'll feed it into the carrier and we lock it in just enough to hold it this time, guys. Right, let's place it in the magazine well where it belongs. Somewhere about there, I think. And we'll snap it home, make sure it's home nice and firmly like it is. And then we'll uh, screw this in and hopefully we won't have any gas escaping this time, guys. There we go. That's it, we've done it properly this time. During my initial review of the uh, MP9, I mentioned that I'd had this tin of pellets since uh, the early 1980s, but how many of you actually noticed they were actually point twenties? Not a lot of use then, because it's 5mm, these are 5mm calibre, uh, 177 pellets are 4.5, so these are far too big to go in the gun. This morning I popped into my dealer and I purchased 500 rounds of Spitfires. These are 177, the proper calibre. So have a quick look. There we are. What well, then? These are pellets we will be shooting today. So um, I think what we'll do, without further ado, is we'll get down the garage. Uh, I've got the range set up down there, and we'll uh, go and take a few shots. Okay, guys. So here we are in my shooting range in the garage. Um, as you can see, I've got a much more interesting target down here. This is something like a two mil thick steel sheet down there, steel plate. It's quite hard stuff. I've tried drilling it and it's pretty damned hard stuff. Um, so it should make uh, an interesting target when we hit it. So I've got uh, both ends of the magazine loaded up here. Let's get it um, into the magazine well. Oh. Click it home, and uh, we'll just uh, hang on. Let's get the stock out. There we go, and we're ready the gun. Right in. Let's see what we can do, guys. Should be quite noisy this time. Hang on. Let's take the safety off. That's better. Excellent. Hopefully you will have noticed I've got the uh, the steel plate down there at an angle to deflect the rounds downwards into the ground so they don't come back at us. Uh, I think I've got a few more rounds left in this particular part of the magazine so we'll uh, drop the safety off. We'll have a go again. Right, that's out. That one's out. So we'll put the safety on. Drop the magazine, turn him over, put him back in again, safety off, have another go. And they're still bouncing all around the place. Right, we're out again, another magazine. Okay, so we've loaded the mag again. Uh, this time I've got. Uh, a can down there full of water, drinks can full of water. 
So what I'll do is um, I'll just get the camera reset and we'll have a look. Right and guys, let's make a bit of a mess. We'll uh, insert the magazine. Shouldn't need to, no there we go, it's, it's ready to go. Take off the safety. Let's give it a go, see what it does uh, to the can. We'll make a bit of a mess hopefully. <laughs> right, I've stood it up again. Um, the round did actually penetrate right through the can in one end and out the other and through the water as well. As you can see it's making a bit of a mess in the garage but you know, who cares. Safety off, we'll hit it again. There we go, he's down. I think I've got one round left in this end of the magazine so we'll just empty it. Safety off. No, two rounds. Make that three rounds. Now we're out. Safety. Turn the magazine round. Hopefully get it back in the gun if we can. No, one round has just fallen out there. Right. Just empty this magazine out then guys. It'll only be seven rounds this time because one's just fallen on the floor. Safety off. Let's just take a look at the tin can. Here's the uh, entry holes here, made a nice little hole. Uh, this dent here is what knocked the can down eventually. Uh, around the other side, as you can see, here we have all the uh, exit holes look. You can see how tough this plate is. Didn't even mark it, like you can see where they've uh, left lead smudges all over it. If we turn it over, look on the other side no dents at all look in the thing, it's really um, tough bit of plate is this hope you enjoyed that guys, let's get back to the studio alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed coming over to uh, Rathbone Manor today to take a look once again at my uh, Gamo MP3 a very nice um, replica of the B&T MP3 very nice little gun here, very nicely made actually, good quality, fun to shoot and uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at this little sling I got for it too. Um, the next project that I've got lined up for this gun is I'm going to get myself a little RDS to go on here. Uh, for those of you that don't know what an RDS is, it is a red dot sight. Um, I'm hoping there's one winging its way to us as we speak. Um, if you keep an eye on my uh, Instagram feed here, um, you should see it, I'm hoping to see it next week. Uh, as soon as I get it, I will post some pictures of it for you, along with uh, the other bits and pieces I'm getting too. Alright then guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the little review, the little look at this uh, nice little sling I've got for me uh, gun here. I can recommend it, you know, if you're into airsoft and you want a little sling, just pop along to Gearbest. What I'll do is, uh, there is a, a special um, affiliate link to Gearbest in the description below. Um, if you go along via that um, link uh, and purchase anything, I will get a nice little bit of commission, which helps the channel, guys. It helps the channel out. It helps me to bring you more interesting stuff along. Um, I will also put uh, an affiliate link for this sling down below so if you like it and you want one uh, please feel free to purchase it via that link because as I say you, you are helping the channel in that way I only get a small amount of commission it does take me some time to save up the uh, money required to transfer it across into my account um, but it does help it does help the channel guys uh, and thank you very much to everyone who has purchased uh, Gearbest products via my links thank you very much indeed Okay guys, uh, if you enjoyed the review, uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. That will help the channel too. You can also click like on it, thank you very much. And you can share it with your friends. Who knows, they might be after something like this too. Uh, as, as well as my Instagram feed, there is also my Patreon page. Uh, if you'd like to help the channel out in that way too, thank you very much guys. That will uh, go a long way to helping the channel as well. 
Okay, as I say, um, I'm hoping to have a, an RDS along this week for this little fellow. Uh, that is why I went out and purchased the uh, cartridges and some more pellets. So I've got plenty of ammunition to sight it in and to show you guys it working because we can have more fun blasting that steel plate down there. And that is uh, really good fun. I enjoyed that. Bit noisy, but it's fun. Okay then guys, uh, thank you very much for watching, thank you for all your support uh, and I'll catch you back here at Rath Rathbone Manor in the very near future then. Thanks for watching guys, us. Rath.